We are introducing this year what we call Threat Cloud AI. It's based on many, many AI technologies. Just to give you the background, we make on the central Threat Cloud, that's a checkpoint, over 2 billion security decisions every day and prevent over 2.5 billion attacks every year. What that means, by the way, these 2 billion, because the decisions are in many cases distributed. So if I'm trying to, uh, to estimate how many decisions like that we will make together as a threat cloud network every day, it's probably way over 100 billion, because most of these decisions are actually cached and done on your sites and not on our main site. Now, how will it all work? By the way, the nice threat cloud here was also an image drawn by AI. So, I mean, we told you there'll be a lot of AI here, so this uh, is also a wonderful creation uh, of AI. So we have simple API plugin to all the different products that we have that gets the best unified security. And um, I think if you look at all of that and the amount of information that we collect and the amount of experience that we captured, there is inside Threat Cloud today more than 75 threat prevention engines. And we keep introducing more and more. And most of them you don't even know because we just plug them into the central threat cloud and have more intelligence about how to find and prevent more uh, threats. Uh, every day we process more than 2 million malicious indicators, 2 billion websites and files, 30 million file emulation. And again, if we do it once, we remember the decision and it applies to everyone in one organization or in many organizations from over 100,000 customers. And remember, by the way, when you're speaking about AI, in AI, it's not just the algorithm, it's also the data set that you are trained of. So the amount of experience and the amount of data that we get from multiple systems, all the way from, as I said, code to cloud, endpoint network, is second to none. I don't think that there is any other vendor that collects that much information for so many sources, and that have so many engines to look at the different types of behaviors and the different type of malwares.